Okay, so, so far in this problem, we found the homogeneous solution, and we found and formed our particular solution up to the point where we had our second derivative. But again, this equation is third order, so we now need to go ahead and find yp triple prime. So y yp triple prime, it's a mouthful, is going to be the derivative of the first, which is 8a x Yep, 8ax minus 8 times a, and that's the coefficient on e to the negative 2x, plus the first, which is 4ax squared minus 8ax plus 2a times a negative 2, e to the negative 2x. Once again, we need to combine like terms, so we're going to have a negative 2 times a 4a, making negative 8ax squared. We can now combine the x terms. So we've got a positive 16 ax plus 8 more makes 24 ax. And then we combine linear terms. We've got negative 4a back here and a negative 8a there, making a negative 12a. And again, this is all times an e to the negative 2x. Now we have to take what we just found and substitute all of this into the original in homogeneous differential equation. So it's going to be a lot, but here we go. We're going to have our negative 8ax squared plus 24ax minus 12a. e to the negative 2x, and then we're going to have plus 3 times our second derivative, which was 4ax squared minus 8ax plus 2a times the e to the negative 2x minus 4 times the y, so that's a minus 4 times our y, which was ax squared e to the negative 2x, and that must equal out to e to the negative 2x. All right, so let's go through now and take a look at our terms. We've got negative 8a of the x squared, and then a plus 12, and then a minus 4. Well, if you do that math, negative 8 plus 12 is 4, minus 4 is 0. So this term here cancels with this term and this term completely. We now move on to the second set of terms, which is the 24ax. We've got a positive 24ax here and a negative 24, three times negative eight. So those cancel out as well. And what we're left with then is a negative 12 a e to the negative 2x and then 6 times 3 is going to make 6 a e to the negative 2x and that must equal out to 1 e to the negative 2x combining like terms that's negative 6 a e to the negative 2x equals 1 e to the negative 2x so negative 6 To do where to go negative 6 a must equal out to 1 so a is equal to negative 1 sixth so that is the undetermined coefficient that we found to build our particular solution one comment up here if you look at the red and the cancellations of the x squared and the x terms that we have up here in the green and we have up here in our yellow as well it does make sense that these terms would cancel out because there's nothing to match up with on the right-hand side. And A can only be equal to one single number. So that's our reward again to make sure that we've actually done the process right. So to kind of wrap this up, our particular solution, yp of x, is negative 1 sixth x squared e to the negative 2x. And then to wrap up the full problem, the general solution... It's going to be the three terms of the homogeneous solution. So y of x is going to be c1, 
e to the negative 2x plus c2 x e to the negative 2x plus a c3 e to the x and now minus a 1 6 x squared e to the negative 2x and you will notice once again that all four of these terms are linearly independent and so we have our full general solution of our inhomogeneous equation